Well, welcome back. We're flying here. We're going to fly our approach in. Josh is still flying, actually. Uh, really good two, job so Greg far. Dixie, flight plan route. What we're going to do is we're going to fly the visual RNAV 36 in. Over 60 Gulf Delta Cross yeah, new Tiger at maintain 12000 LTB 3004. We're going to start right here at Anquam. So back home, it looks like we've got some pretty decent weather. Over 431 Cop Mike, behind. contact Kansas City Approach 123.4. Actually, 118.4. Well, they likely drop Josh off, get some fuel, and head on out of here. But, uh, far so good. All right, our top of descent is coming up in three minutes. November 1, November Mike, cross 28 miles west of Johnson County at maintain 5,000. All right, let's go ahead and engage the autopilot. Are you ready? Yep. Autopilot's engaged, it can let go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our approach. Over 1214 one, Tango, contact Kansas City Center 127.35. In two minutes and 42 seconds, the plane should start taking us down. It'll give me a warning with one minute to go, and then I'll change the altitude from 6,500 feet down to Anquam is 3,100 feet. You did really good flying. Long was like 40 minutes. Yeah, you kept us right on the numbers. And Over 737, Charlie Golf, Casey Center, Roger. Thank you, all. 3008. Held your altitude really well. Like you said, it's kind of like flying a video game, eh? Yeah. <laughs> When I learned how to fly, I didn't have this kind of technology. It just had these kind of gauges right here, and we had to learn how to offer that. You know how this one right here compares to this one? Oh, what would you say? I wasn't listening. Do you know how these two gauges would compare? Yeah, if you're pointing down, this would go up. The brown, up. you're descending. Brown sky, yeah. Blue sky, brown is ground. The triangle shows you their, uh, your angle that you're at. Yep. And that shows you if you're going left or right. And this is called a ball. Oh. Ball is the tail of the plane. Essentially, you're swinging left or right like with your tail's wagging too much. The rudder pedals down here actually help control that ball. You want to keep that ball between those two white lines. You keep the ball in the center. Like a race car going around a fast curve. If the ball goes outside, the race car is skidding all the way around. If the ball goes inside, it'll run into the inside. Vertical track. Uh, keep the ball centered, it'll race around that corner nice and fast. So there's our warning. That was loud. Vertical track. We're going to set our altitude down to 3100. Plane will automatically start down. And when we start down, we're going to reduce our reduce our pressure. Maximum pressure. At 1809, Casey Center, climb and maintain flight level 230. United 1809, Casey Center, climb and maintain, flight level 230. Be a little room to lean back. You can put one foot up between the two pedals. There you go. A little bit of leg room. Wow, what That's a difference. Kind of tough when you're six foot four. What a difference. I well, could have fallen in the back, but then I wouldn't have had a co-pilot, right? You wouldn't have an amazing YouTube video. That's right. I wouldn't have had an amazing YouTube video. <laughs> And all these hits that we're going to get, right? Yeah, I'm your clickbait. <laughs> but maybe we should have you fly the landing for us then. I believe must watch Sun Flex has been to Kansas City. Ah, uh, you do fine. I can't believe what happens next. The thing you can do is just kind of pay attention. I'll talk you through the stuff as I'm doing it. And you can pay, t pay attention to it and kind of learn as we go. All right, we are in our descent. Let's go ahead and start pulling the throttle back to about 21. That's our throttle pressure right there. It's called manifold pressure. We're going to bring it to 21 inches. Because if we leave it at full power going all the way down, we can overspeed pretty easily. Makes sense. Overspeed and fold the wings back. 
be a bad day. No bueno. Over zero five Sierra, contact KC Center one two six point two two. Beautiful here. We left all the clouds behind at home. Um, good, I assume. It's okay. colder. Um, no one really flies that altitude. It just flies through it, so you want something else on the So we're set to 3,100 feet. That little blue number right there means that's our target altitude. Vertical path means the computer's flying the, uh, flying the plane down to that point for us. We're still at 5,500 feet. And you see this little banana-looking thing, the blue one? Yeah. That's going to tell us when we're going to hit 3,100 feet. And it should be relatively close to what's called the BOD, or bottom of descent. So we started down at top of descent. We're going to the bottom of descent, and that should put us in Anquam. Right here at this point, right there, 3,100 feet, and that's the appropriate altitude to begin approaching to uh, New Century. Got it. Here, 20 o'clock, 4744. November 111, November by contact KC approach, 118.9. My ears are popping a little bit, so we're going down. Got a yawn. Seven four seven, your Bravo to center, maintain four thousand. Seven seven, your Bravo, change over to my frequency one uh, three two point six. I folded that one seat up. He actually got quite a bit more room back there. Good to Roger. Go to St. Louis, Lambert is filed. Climb and maintain 5,000. There's uh, no that on the way here, or the way back home. Hey, you would have had, when well, we picked you up, you would have had more room back there. Huh? Send us your brow, thank you. Number 20, oh, correction, number 60, Gulf Delta, contact KC approach, 120.95. Gulf Delta, contact KC approach, 120.9 or 5. Mm. Raid 0 Bravo, traffic at 11 o'clock, 4 miles northbound at 3000, going to Johnson County, uh, Sierra. All right, we'll be sir. no visual. 8 0 Bravo. 8 0 Bravo, contact KC approach, 118.9, it'll keep you posted. 18 9, 8 0 Bravo, thanks, so. Number 2, Quebec. Approach Bonanza 6980 Bravo on the VFR descent, direct Anquam for the visual RNAV 36. Okay, I'm not sure, but there is uh, multiple call in. Approach 80 Bravo. November 6980 Bravo, can approach guide. Yeah, we're on the VFR visual descent, uh, direct Anquam for the RNAV uh, 36 under VFR conditions. Hey, zero Bravo, Roger, maintain VFR traffic 12 o'clock. Two miles northeast down Cirrus, 3,000 uh, feet, going to executive. Yeah, we're searching for him, 8 zero And calling uh, some departure, say again. That plane that Cirrus is going to pass kind of right in front of us over here. Uh, he's still about three miles or so ahead. 
and a half, three miles ahead of us, so we probably... And uh, Cessna 7243, I'll be He's going to the Johnson Mason. County Executive Airport. We're going to New Century. I have New Century in sight, actually, so we're good there. And at what altitude? Hey, sir, Bravo has New Century in sight. Seven eight zero Bravo Roger. You have the traffic twelve o'clock to two miles north on site. Negative, still searching. Or one November like ten eighteen four thousand. Uh, four thousand one November like. One pop of my key to see up as much as practical. I do have an inbound jet for downtown to ten eighteen three thousand. Traffic inside eight zero Bravo, no factor. Eight zero Bravo, radar search ten eight o'clock. Be fired. Change advisor. Switch over now. Eight zero Bravo, thanks. New Century Tower, Bonanza 6980, Bravo, on the visual, RNAV 36 to Ankle. Bonanza 6980, Bravo, New Century Tower, your visual approach to your IFR with approach control. Now we've been released. We're just going to fly the visual, RNAV uh, 36 into New Century, uh, beginning at Anquam under VFR conditions. Bonanza 6980, Bravo, maintain VFR price approach approved, no separation services provided. Report Anquam inbound and uh, verify you had the weather. A firm, we have the weather and we will report Anquam. A zero Bravo, thanks. Still see him over there. He's still see him? That's a land. Yeah. Tower 151 Papo Whiskey is ready upon reaching. Coal Stream 151 Papo Whiskey on departure, turn left heading 340, climb and maintain 4000, throw by 360. Five we'll hit our bottom of the Okay, left turn 340 and up to 4151 Papo Whiskey. And we're clear for takeoff, 36. Which means we're just letting them know where we're at on this approach. This one's going to be 2700, I believe. Returning in two seconds. One and turn. At the airport in sight yet? Yeah. Head up the field. New Century Tower, 8 0 Bravo, crossing Anqua. Bonanza 8 0 Bravo, report crossing Jikla. Report Jikla, 8 0 Bravo, thanks. All right, Jekyll's at 2,700. Battery died out there. All right, pre-landing checklist. Seat backs are good. Seat belts and the shoulder harnesses, everybody's good. Feel good, we just switch. Cow flaps are fine. Mixture and, and prop will go one full flat. Kind of approach fix. Our landing gear is not we'll down yet, but I'll we'll put it down here in a bit. Told us to report Jikla. Jikla. Uh, glide path is armed. Vertical path is armed. We are holding at 2,700 feet. We're slowing down. Right before Jiklo, we'll be able to engage our, drop our gear, engage our approach flaps, and at the uh, minimums, 1,320 feet, we'll throw down full flaps. All right, Jiklo in 1.6 miles. 
Airport is in sight. Seat up. All right, we're going to go ahead and go gear down. Landing light, taxi lights on, approach flaps set. Good, I got the right runway identified by the little blue line on the bottom there. Once we cross Jikla in 0.6 miles, the plane will start nosing down and we'll be on the glide path to land. That's when we'll go full top and full mixture right at the minimums. Eight seconds to Jikla. Some of the names that come up for these things are just nuts. Hey, Zero Bravo, crossing Jikla. Wind is A0 Bravo, runway 36, clear to land. Clear to land, A0 Bravo, thank you. All right, we set our prop to about 18, which is the appropriate manifold pressure for a good approach. The runway in sight, 36 is identified. Go ahead and turn on the iPad here so you guys can see the landing as we approach and follow through with this whole procedure. All right, we'll get a, a warning at 1,320 feet, which will be minimum. That's where we're going to drop this to full. Full flaps. We'll gauge our prop and our mixture to full. Everything else is set to land. Kind of a pretty sunset over here. The weather one more time. Weather observation two three five three Zulu. Wind three four zero at one four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero six Celsius. Down Dew point down. minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero seven. Remarks. Density altitude one. Seven. That's zero. good. I had to change the altimeter a little bit. Good I thing we checked the last one, eh? And not here, where'd you say when that thing was going off? Uh, the down, you can see downtown Kansas City way over there. Oh, yeah. About 20, 30 miles. Yeah. Right, we're at 1,740 feet, 1,320 is when we're going to get our minimum warning. That's when we'll go full mixture, full prop, full flaps. Beautiful evening in Kansas City. 500. It's 500 feet above the ground, warning. Go ahead and go full mixture, full prop. Last thing we have to change is full flaps at our minimum, 1320. Minimums. Minimums. Full flaps. Our pilot is still engaged. Flying. Everything's identified. Clear to land. Our pilot practically flies right down to the runway. I'm going to take over and get us on the center line here. New Century Tower, Aids are Bravo going to advance jet. But as they zero Bravo, we'll continue up the runway, right turn on Bravo, and remain in this frequency to park, and have a good night. All right, we'll go along and stay with you, right turn Bravo, zero Bravo, thanks. Go 
grab your car and bring it over to car or the plane so you can load it. I'm gonna I'll fill up fuel, go to the bathroom, hit the road back. Go nope. hit the road, Jack. Those are the Chinook her, uh, air helicopters, sorry, that uh, uh, Simeon's older brother flies. Oh. Well, see if YouTube will give us some ratings on your flying today. If I don't get five stars, I'm going to be very upset. Five stars? <laughs> I don't know if they give stars on YouTube, but we'll see. Oh, you're t okay. I thought you were <laughs> talking about, like, actual, like, reviews instead of, like... What? That's cool. It's pretty. What? Uh, Josh flew for over 40 minutes. Oh, autopilot. Good. Look at those swirls over there. A lot of wind. Interesting looking jet right there with the little thing. Yeah, it's an old one. Those are fuel tanks on the on the tips. Thanks. It's your problem. We're uh, at the end of the runway, ready to go. Then six nine eight zero Bravo, New Century Tower, runway three six, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. It's your problem. Thanks. All right. To go, bu buckle them. Toga power, instruments are green. This is alive. We're going to get our fuel flow. There it is. Up the brakes. Gear up. Over to 189, Nature Bro, thanks for that. Kansas City Bro. 
approach, command the 6980 Bravo, just off New Century, 1800, climbing 5.5. 6980 8, Bravo, can't start trade in. Ident 80 Bravo. Going 600, report New Century in sight, 11 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Call us Charlie Bravo. Uh, field in sight, jet link 61. Going 6 point, clear visual approach, runway 36 at uh, New Century Airport, be advised there's a Cirrus that is uh, currently about 3 miles to the west of the uh, of skinny will all seize VFR also inbound. Cirrus, there's terminate contact New Century Tower 133.0. Over to Tower now, we'll be looking for him, jet link 61. 3 Mike Romeo, uh, make a right, right 360 and then uh, proceed direct uh, skinny. Right 360 and then direct to Skinny, Fort Street, Mike Romeo. November 8, Charlie Bravo Radar, contact 2 miles northeast of Century uh, Airport, maintain VFR, and how high did you say your climate? 6980 Bravo, going to 5500. Hey, Charlie Bravo, 